our first sephiroth we're going to talk about is kether kether is this is the first sephiroth on the tree of life it's actually if you look at the graphic it's on the top of it which might seem a little seem a little counterintuitive but we're talking about the relationship from divinity down to our understanding. So it starts at the top and works its way down. So Kether is associated with the crown chakra. It's associated with the premium mobile. It's the first sphere at the top, like I said. It's genderless. Its color is brilliant white. It's known as the crown. Its elements are air and spirit. It's associated with Arzir from the Simon Necronomicon tradition. <clears throat> it's, it's a manifested form of divinity. It's the center of the universe, or the great central sun. It's you know these are all associations that are with it through the research that um that I've done. Um, it's polarity, unity, the highest self, the bornless one, the highest consciousness contemplated by humanity. It represents reunion with the source, life and death, and the gods of creation. Animals associated with it are the hawk, the swan, and the eagle. Incenses that are used for working with this. Sephiro are ambergis, ambergris, and bay leaves. Bay leaves are actually really interesting. If you ever burn one and smell it and like meditate with it, whoa. Um, the stone associated with it is the diamond. The plant associated is the almond. It's metal. The metal associated with it is white gold. The angel is Metatron. It is all potential things. It's both the top of the tree and the root at the same time. Modern, modern researchers associated with Uranus vis-a-vis -vis Anu. Um, there was a uh, a researcher that I was uh, that I listened to uh, maybe a year ago or so, where um, Anu likes to insert his presence because you know he's all encompassing. You can check out my um my playlist on gods and goddesses for that. I think Anu's video is going to be coming out in a bit, but Ur Uranus has Anu's name in it. Anu likes to assert himself in subtle ways everywhere. Um, it's Kether is the unity of one's personal will with that of the holy guardian angel. It's you uniting with your true power, essentially, of creation. True trust in the universe manif and manifestation. It's connected to the Sephiroth Chokma by path number 11, which is the lat Latin letter A. It corresponds to air, and it's the mother archetype. It's connected to the Sephirobina by path number 12. The second Hebrew letter, Beth, um, represents house, Mercury, and the magician card. It's connected to Tifereth, which is the uh, path straight down, by path 13. He, the third Hebrew letter, Gimel, meaning camel, associated with the moon and the priestess card. So these are a bunch of associations that go with the with the Sephiro Kether on the Tree of Life. Now, there is plenty more information on this. There is no way I'm going to be able to cover it all, honestly, or learn it all within the next 10 years. Um, so all of these videos are essentially little teasers, little tastings of the, of the Tree of Life and what you can kind of gleam from it and you know i invite everyone that's watching these to go deeper you can get you can find plenty of books on um <clears throat> on the uh, on the tree of life a really interesting one is christopher penksack's um temple of high witchcraft for example you can also find um some information on on the kabbalah in books such as hmm let's see another good one that, that really overviews it is modern magic i suggest this for anybody that's either a new guy or has not read it yet because this book goes over a ton of stuff i still learn from it from time to time let me put this back here so yeah that like i said was a little bit of information on the sephiro kether which is at the top of the tree of life so let me know what you guys think. You can always shoot me an email at priestofthenecro at gmail.com. You can drop me a comment down below. If you want to interact with me more, uh, if you check in the description, you can find my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com backslash magicologyyt. 
Uh, you can also find my email in there, and you can find a look a link to my author's page on Amazon, which has my four books, which are above my head. My books are Magical Theater, The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond, Magical Mechanics, and Handy Sigil Magic. Magical Theater talks about energy and psychology. The Guide to the Spheres and Beyond talks about the Necronomicon gatewalking system. Magical Mechanics discusses the ways that magic functions within our physical universe. And Handy Sigil Magic is my own personally created system of how to use physical movement, visualization, and energy work to activate sigils for spell work and manifestation. So, yeah, you guys can check all those out. You can check out the, li the links down below. Drop me a comment and all that stuff. You can also check out my other playlists for General Magic, the Simon Necronomicon, Tulpamancy, my random stuff, this Tree of Life playlist that this video is on, my Gods and Goddesses playlist, and also other playlists that I have coming up. I th believe that, yeah, I just started my playlist on stones, which is also going to be added too. I'm going to continue to put out at least three videos a week, so look forward to those, and a lot of them are going to be premieres. That way you guys can set reminders for them, and just remember they're Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays at this point. Good hunting.